Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So really quickly, I just want to give a big thank you to Akina Seymour for making me one of her subscribers of the month. That was super sweet. Thank you so much, Akina. I'll have her channel linked down below because she's super sweet. And I just want you guys all to go check out her channel. She is really funny, really unique, and I love her videos. Today is the 1st of August, and August usually is back to school for most people, and for me including, I go back to 14th. So the first thing I want to tell you is go to orientation. At my school, we don't usually call it orientation. We just call it scheduled pickup day because we usually do our schedules in August, March, so we don't have to deal with anything um, the first day of school. So we have our uh, scheduled pickup days uh, before school starts, and then on those days, we usually grab our schedules, our locker key, and then we go around the I mean, we go around the school. And what I would usually do is map out my classes. I'd go to my first period class, and then I'd figure out where that was, and then my second period, and then so on. Another thing you want to do on orientation day, if you get your schedule and there's a class on there that you didn't originally plan on taking, you need to go to your counselors and get taken care. Of. You need to get the class that you want on your schedule. Get that all taken care of the first day. Be a good student. Try your best in high school. Try to get good grades. It's okay if you don't get the straight A's, but as long as you're trying your best, then that's fine. Go home, study, study for tests, make flashcards. You tip before you take a test in a class. Try to get there really early. Look over flashcards and notes that you've made. If you aren't understanding what the teacher is going over in class, you can go to them before and after school. Just make a time, make a time with them, and figure out what it is that you're not getting in really try hard and work at uh, getting good grades how to stay organized. A good tip for this is have a plan or have an agenda that you can write all your uh, homework down in. What I did freshman year I had sticky notes and I wrote down on every single sticky note uh, my homework for that class and I just stuck it in my pencil bag because I use my pencil bag everywhere. So that's a good way to keep on top of homework and stay organized. Making friends. Um, making friends isn't that hard in high school. A tip for making friends is they're not gonna be like, they could be potential friends to be best friends. They're not gonna, you're not gonna make a best friend on the first day of high school. But what you can do is um, talk to people in those classes that you have because more than likely your best friends from middle school aren't gonna be in the classes in high school. One thing I was really scared of when I was a freshman, my first day of freshman year, was uh, finding somebody to sit with at lunch. And in my school, we have three separate lunches for, and they're called A, B, and C. And what happens is, all, every, everybody in the whole school, just freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, we all go to, we all eat the same lunch. On my freshman year, I was ate lunch, which kind of really sucked for me. But what I did was find common faces that I saw in my earlier classes that I talked to, and I asked them if I could sit with them, and that's what I did. So make sure you find that perfect set of people to sit with during lunch that first week of school. But it's not that scary. Just look for a common face that you've seen earlier in one of your classes and ask them if they could sit with you because that's honestly one of the best things to do in that kind of a situation. But don't change yourself to fit in with people. Uh, that's one of the worst things you could do in high school because in high school you're trying to find yourself and how are you going to find yourself if you're pretending to be someone someone you're not never do people are going to see through it and they're going to see that you aren't acting yourself and if they don't see through it and you act that way up until like a certain point you're going to become that person and you're going to totally lose yourself in the process don't be someone you're not um be who you are if you want to stick a spoon full of mashed potatoes on your nose the first day of high school, you do it and friends will come to you because you're funny and unique and you stuck potatoes on your nose, like, who does that? That's awesome. I'd be friends with that person. I think they're cool. Be you. Be funny. If you're unique and funny and you're 100% real with people and you are who you are, then people will come to you. They will. Friends will come. Yeah, I know being popular sounds cool, this and that, but don't change yourself to be one of them. Be who you are. And if being popular in high school means that you have to change who you are, then being popular probably isn't even worth it because by the end of high school, no one's even going to care. Heck, I don't even care about the popular kids right now and I'm a junior. Like, a great way to deal with drama is to don't talk bad about other people. If you don't want people to be talking bad about you, then don't talk bad about other people. That's how drama starts. <laughs> nope. If you aren't in any drama during high school, you're going to be so much happier. Another great tip for staying out of drama is 
get off the phone at 10 o'clock, turn it off, put it across the room. If you use it as an alarm, call on the dresser or something. Put it away. Don't get on your phone after 10 o'clock. Nothing good happens at past 10 o'clock on a school night, on a weekend. Nothing good happens past 10 anyways, unless it's like a TV show. Try to get a good night's sleep. That's a great idea too. I think relationships are fine in high school, as long as it's like not totally taking over your schoolwork, lowering your GPA and getting bad grades and all this. If you are that person that who can't be in a relationship and do school at the same time, maybe save it for the summer or a break and just hang out with that person. Tell them that you can't be in a relationship because school is important to you and you need to get good grades. Just tell them that you need to take a break for a while to get your grades back up. And it's not that you don't like that person anymore, it's just that your school comes, your schoolwork comes before them. And that's totally okay, you're in high school, you're not married. If you are pressured into doing anything, um, say it's by a boyfriend or a friend or somebody else that is really influential in your life, don't fall into peer pressure. If your goal is in, in high school is to not fall into peer pressure in your entire four years, and don't fall into peer pressure. If you don't want to do drugs and alcohol and do things with a boy, then you don't have to do any of that. It's all up to you, really. If you do slip up, then don't beat yourself up over it. It's really not worth it. Just, just accept the fact that you messed up and move on from the situation. It's kind of like riding a bike. How you fall down a lot when you first learn how to ride a bike, but then when you start getting it, you start to learn the mistakes that you've made in the past and then you don't make those same mistakes anymore. So it kind of goes, it's, it's kind of the same thing, but not really. Another thing that's really important in high school is during and between classes, um, there's usually a flow of uh, people going either or in direction in the hallways. And if you're that freshman that's standing right in the middle of all those people, then that's really rude. But when somebody's trying to get around you, it's not nice and it's kind of rude. And another thing is, uh, don't take upperclassmen seats at lunch. That's also really rude. And even if you were like an upperclassman, don't take seats from a freshman. That's not nice either. Just have proper etiquette and manners when you go to high school. Don't be obnoxious. Don't do anything to anybody else that you wouldn't like done to you. I don't usually see people getting their lunch money stolen or getting their head stuffed down in a toilet or getting pushed in lockers and stuff like that. That doesn't usually happen in high school and I don't think it has ever happened. And if it does happen, and if it has ever happened to anybody, I'm pretty sure that uh, administrators and principals and teachers would totally be on that like that. And usually bullying in high school, it's most likely going to be girls. Girls are really mean. Girls don't have the kind of confidence to come up to you and just say that to your face. Unless they're with their friends or they're like vicious and mean, they're not going to say it to your face. So they're going to say it over social media. And what you can do is send them a message, a private message, telling them that you don't know why they're picking on you and that you don't appreciate it and you ask them nicely to stop. After that, don't wait for their response. Um, just block their account and that's the end of it. Your friends are going to change in high school. It is a no-brainer and it's going to happen. Your friends might not even change your freshman year because I was a freshman and my best friends in middle school were the same all the way throughout freshman year. And then when my sophomore year came around, I started noticing that they were different. I didn't want to be around them as much anymore because they weren't the people that I wanted to be around. It's okay to lose friends in high school and make new friends on top of that. One door closes and one door opens. Uh, you're, it's kind of sad and depressing and really scary. Your friends are totally going to do 180s on you. They're going to be a complete different person than they were the year before. Don't surround yourself with people that you aren't going to be happy around. It's really okay for change. Get involved. This is one thing I really wish I did more of, but uh, get involved in your high school. It looks good on college applications. There's tons of different clubs in high school. Um, not every club is for everyone. Obviously, if you don't play chess or if you don't speak Spanish, those clubs probably aren't for you. But if you can join clubs like Interact Club and Drama Club and just find clubs like that. Just go to them, see if you like them, and if you like them, stick with that club, and then you'll meet new friends in that club. If you're a fast runner, you could do track or you could do cross crunchy. If 
you're a big guy, you could do wrestling or you could do football or, and if you're like a really tall guy, you could do basketball, but you could do any sport you wanna do. Dressing modestly. You don't wanna to come to school with really revealing clothing. To get attention from guys, that's not the best way to do it. I wouldn't recommend uh, getting attention from guys that way because they're not thinking of you as like, why well, I want a relationship with this girl. They're thinking of something else, which it leads me to my kind of next topic that high school boys are pretty dumb. They're not dumb like as academic wise, but they're like really immature, most of them, not all of them. But if you're dressed like that and then you guys get in a relationship together, they're not thinking about you, right? They're thinking of something else that is pretty important, if you know what I mean. Freshman girls dating senior boys, and this happened a lot, strangely, uh, my sophomore year. There's a lot of freshmen dating the senior guys. And those relationships actually turned out really great. But when I was a freshman, it was not acceptable at all. It's kind of like not looked good upon. And usually, most of the time when a senior boy is dating a, a freshman girl, um, you're thinking about, OMG, the butterflies in my stomach, he's so cute. He, he talked to me today, OMG, we're dating, yay. Yeah, it's not the same way for him. He's thinking about going to college and getting out of high school and you're just starting high school so it's kind of like a weird difference if you think about it okay guys that is it for all my tips and tricks on how to survive freshman year and not even freshman year you can use these tips all the way throughout your senior year and I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys for watching I don't know how long this video is but I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna be really long after I edit and everything so thank you guys for watching bye